Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now it is a general reading. That being said, it might not resonate with everybody, so please do make sure to take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't make sense to you, you're not feeling well with it, it's just not resonating, that's okay. Just toss it aside. It'll be good for another time or for somebody else. Um, and it's okay. It's a general reading, so it does happen. If ever, though, you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that you can have those answers that you're searching for so you can find that guidance that you're looking for. If you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be very grateful. Oh, I would be very grateful. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this read. Further ado, we're going to begin this reading and I'm going to finish it up with the universe has your back. So we're going to be talking about some self-control by your higher self, some discipline by master teacher, and some decisions also. It looks like you have some decisions to make. This reading here, by the way, is dedicated to the sign of Capricorn. Okay. Now let's begin with the self-control. This is all about restraint, it's about detachment, it's about composure, and it's about relaxation. Your higher self is advising you to keep your emotions in check through these times of change and through these times of transition. Be on guard as well as against being manipulated emotionally by the fear and the drama of all of those that are around you. Change is in the air and the uncertainty at hand is stirring up a lot of anxiety and a lot of insecurity. You need to recognize the potential stress and choose the brave, the volatile storm by remaining cool, calm and collected. Whatever you do, don't allow yourself to succumb to the seductive and addictive appeal of high drama as a way of expanding the excess adrenaline that is coursing through your veins. Go for a run or work out at the gym. Use your anxiety um, physically rather than emotionally and protect yourself against the fear provoking actions of others. Yes, it is difficult to face the unknown. It is. But your higher self calmly assures you that no matter what challenges you are going to encounter, you can handle everything beautifully if you remain detached, if you remain relaxed, and if you remain grounded. Your higher self's message for you is to simply stay cool. We're going to follow up with, I don't know why I was turning that back, we're going to follow up with discipline. And this is by the master teacher. So we're talking about dedication here, we're talking about training, we're talking about work, we're talking about skills. Whatever you desire in life can be created, but only if you're willing to do the necessary work. That means no shortcuts no bypasses and no free lunches. The only path to success is discipline and consistency. Fortunately, your master teacher is present, helping you develop a heartfelt and mature work ethic by getting organized and becoming practical in your approach to achieving your goals. Now examine your heart and be willing to do what it tells you, whatever it takes to reach your aim. And if you don't know what you must do, then learn. Seek out the help of mentors. Seek out the help of guides who specialize in your field of interest. Study and learn with an open heart and open mind and set your standards high. Your master teacher reminds you, mastery in any area only comes from demanding nothing less than the very best 
from yourself. And we're now going to move over to decisions with the higher self. This is about confusion, it's about quandary, it's about maybe even juggling some things once in a while, some decisions. You're faced with many choices and you aren't sure what to do. Leave or stay into a job, terminate or recommit to a relationship, stop or continue a creative project, go to work or to stay at home with the kids. Life is an endless stream of choices and doing what is best is never a simple thing. Fortunately, your higher self can help you resolve these difficult decisions, especially if you're willing to let some of the balls that you juggle drop to the wayside for now. The key to making the best choice is simply to follow your heart and to attend only to what you care about right now. You need to focus on priorities that feed your spirit and don't become overwhelmed by the demands and expectations of others. You need to ask your higher self to help you discern and trust in what requires your attention right now. And be willing to disappoint people. You have to every once in a while. Your higher self assures you that What falls to the wayside isn't important into the long run. Despite the drama of the moment, the message for you is don't try to be all things to all people. It's a waste of time and you'll surely fail. So let's not try and please everybody. You cannot. It is humanly impossible. Let's go and see the messages from the universe has your back. I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles and natural. And I always trust the direction of the universe and know I'm being guided. So that being said, my dear friends Capricorn, this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to be able to use these messages along your path. You're going to be able to apply them. If you do have any questions or you would like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a blessed day. Thank you for being there. I'll see you soon.